I'm doing. Well, we're live, apparently. Good, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Hartwood Turning in the Stable Studio. I got my tea. I'm on time today because we've got some uh, lovely earworms. Let me just uh, introduce you to them first. Uh, how did I do that again? Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, God. Oh, my so we God. So we God. have the silhouetted Joe from uh, Yorkshire Grit fame and uh, our Afternoon. Operatic singer. We have Terry from TJ Turning. <laughs> Extraordinary. Hello, everybody. Just the coming to your the, tenor the, sing. The skew meister. We have Mike Walt. Uh, for the newer turner, if you don't know Mike. <laughs> for, newer, for, for the turn of the less experienced, oh, please. Let's get it off, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and last but not least, we have Pete from Twisted of the Trees. September. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome along, guys. I've been badgered all week about flower. Everybody that... wants me to make a flower. Oh, make a flower. You should make a flower. You should be making flowers. Well, so it today, it guess what? It guess what? I'm going to make a flower. Oh. It doesn't. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Behave yourself. So One what we're trying to do, get, get you guys back in the background. Oh. How did I do that again? Oh, yeah, that's, button B. that's the one. So what I'm going to try and do today is take you through the whole process of making a sample oh, flower. No. Yeah, the whole process is going to take forever. <laughs> this is going to take ages. Oh, so we'll not welcome everybody in yet because the first thing I want to do is go over to the bandsaw. And then once I've done that and come back to the lathe, <laughs> we'll welcome everybody in. Okay. So let's uh, head over to the bandsaw first and I'll show you how to cut a piece of branch wood. We'll wander over here. Once, can you see that? Now? Oh, now that switch my light on. So we have a piece of branch wood which is a bit of magnolia. It's about an inch and a half, two inches, and we have we made this little jig, which has got two sections on this side and one a bit further away. It's roughly about ten inches long, or about eight inches long, and it's easy to set the piece of branch wood on there. And if it's got kinks and wobbles in it. You can see that uh, we can get this end overhanging and this end kind of wedged up against the, the edge here so that we can get a decent cut. So is we'll this just green try wood, that. Brian? Is this, green? This, is, this is green, yeah. This is green. So we're just going to hold that on a little sled. Try and get it in a decent kind of place about there somewhere. And I'll switch on the extractor fan, which is over here behind the camera. Switch on the, the saw. And I'm just, all I'm doing is pressing down into the into the uh, the V. And that keeps your fingers and everything well away from the saw blade. And you can cut yourself a nice small piece. But you see that again. So now I'm only using the two bits rather than all three. But again, just press down into the V. And slide it through. So that's how easy it is to make some small pieces safely on your bandsaw using this little jig. That was easy, wasn't it? So let's Question go back to the left. Yes, Why don't you have a guide rail on the bottom of that so it goes along the track? So, so well, okay. So that's, there, that's what I've like, got you, you could easily put a guide rail on there so yeah. you can slide back and forward. Yeah. But I kind of like it so you can you can maneuver it a little bit. If you've got a big bit sticking out, you could bring it back over a wee bit and just take a little bit off the end of it. Yeah. That's the way. I, that's why I just left it. But you could easily put a little T track in there. And uh, I have a T track on my big sled for doing the big logs. Um, let me just show you that one. So for big logs, I have this one, which has a T-track on the bottom. And that just slips in there. So that one will go right through. Just unlock that. Lift that up a little bit. So for bigger logs, we use that. I use this one. Because there's more to, more to control. More weight up here. So you don't want it moving about too much. That makes sense, guys? 
It certainly yeah, does. That makes sense. Well explained. Yeah. Well explained. Let me just switch off my extractor again. I switch off that light and we'll go back to the lift. Ryan, you've got to take a piece of wood with you. <laughs> ah, I'm going to get that now. You don't need the wood. Overheads in. <laughs> Oh, so that's really, of, really square, that is, Brian. Excellent, yeah, well, excellent, excellent. Well, well, I mean, here, I mean, just nice, it's just nice, just uh, nice, oh, parallel yeah. to the camera and stuff. It's, it's it's thanks exactly. thanks yeah. for that, Mike. That was a piece of wood there. That's one I cut earlier, but... I'm just going mounting up between centres. So, step centre on that end. Step centre on that end. And the next thing I need to do is turn my heater down a bit, because it's too warm in here. Show off. Well, I've had it on full all morning to try and heat the place up. But now it's too warm. So, I'm not even, I'm not, we can measure this and make sure we get exactly the centre, but I'm just going to kind of guesstimate it. It should be close enough. For the turner with less experience, do you not you go say that. worry about the pith? Uh, yeah, well, depending on your project, you, you don't want, if you're going to do a stem, you don't want the path going down through the stem. So you, you try and leave the path off to one side if you can. Or avoid it altogether if your branch is big enough. Thank you very much. But I ain't, I ain't making a stem, I'm just making flower heads and I'm going to add a stem. Okay, we'll just Thanks. throw that on there. Uh, so you'll be middle. taking the path out. I'll be taking oh. the path out. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do Henry's that. Henry's doing that point, so he doesn't have to cut a base when you're when you're commenting. <laughs> <laughs> that's very that's very funny. So, that's about about that. <laughs> <laughs> so all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to make a tenon on this because we're going to make this in a chuck, so it's easier to hold. You could do it from between centers, but I'm not about that. So where is my calipers? Calipers are preset to the jaw size that I need. Where are my calipers? <clears throat> so we'll turn that on. That's making a really funny noise. Why is it making that noise? It doesn't seem to be catching on that either. Must it's have been just catching on that. that. Tiny <laughs> little, there's a tiny little branch bit there that's just hitting the tool rest. There we go, that's better. Let's turn the speed up. Put on my safety goggles. So we're on at 1200 there, and we're just going up this end off. Shall I read the chat? Take a foot. Yeah, you can read the chat right now. Okay, in the chat today, apart from me, is Guy Rogerson, Pete <laughs> Chris Dodds, Dave Oti, Robert Dom, Rex B, Brent Beecroft, Steve Hale. Harry Bartlett, Martin General Wood Turner, uh, Trevor P, <coughs> David Heath, and uh, through the chat, 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 chat. Uh, Alex Podge Ridgeworks, Robert, Lewis, a Klondike craftsman, Felicity, WT, Chris Dodds, I'll say Chris Dodds already, circular Keith by word. I'll just get uh, rid of them two lumpy bits first. Joe Senior. Hello, Jennifer. Jennifer Crafts and Creations. Adam Ryla, we're turning. Hey, take that out of there. Eric Winkler. And we'll get rid of the step center because we we'll need Kent. the tail stock in a minute for something else. No, the chat's just jumped on me. You know, Roger Kent. Make a bit more. They're all saying hello to each other. Roy's the boys in. Hi Roy, right. welcome along, buddy. And, uh, Doug Miller. And so for this exercise, we're going to use. Sorry, man. For this exercise, we're going to use a little SC two chuck. That's what's in my chat at that. the moment. And Archibald Woodwork got a question. He said, "Did you get some good tools out of the deal now that you have to make some flowers from a shell?" Yeah, no. Yeah, but it's because he's not making a dozen. If you made a dozen, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not making flour from Michelle. 
He's being Mike. a skimflint and only making one. Yeah, Mike's going out for a meal tonight, so you see, make a dozen by then. We'll, we'll hang around. Well, I'm making, I'm making one for now. Sounds like a plan, Terry. I'll just get that tightened up now. Good afternoon, everybody, it? and thanks for joining, Brian. Oh, I hate that chuck. I hate that chuck. Have you got somebody in mind for the flower, Brian? Because it's been, you know. Well, I am, um, yeah. <laughs> I have. So, in order to get a nice uh, start made in this, I'm going to use a little Fosner bit. So it's a one inch Fosner bit. I'll stick that on the tailstock. We'll bring it on up here. Barry's and that'll tell me if that's nicely centered, and it is. Lock that off. Barry. Bring your speed down. Turn the lathe on. Want to be somewhere in around four to five hundred. And there's no call to hold the chuck as you go in. Because all the pressure is this way, pushing your more taper into its housing. I'm going to draw this in the full length of the, it's a two inch. I pass in a bit, so I'll drill it in the whole length. Lawrence Begich is in. Hi, Lawrence. And it'll, go, it'll go all the way in because it's, it's wet wood. <coughs> and that's as far as I need to go. So we'll just hold on to the chuck now and withdraw it using the. The quill. Susie Swiss will turn us in. Hello, Susie. Hi, Susie. Susie. Good afternoon, Susie. No. There's been a bit Have of you... debate on um, FaceTube recently about holding the chuck. The trick is to hold it at the back of the chuck, away from those teeth, and yeah. pull it backwards so you're actually seating it hard into the Morse taper. If you do that, so, it's yeah. perfectly safe. So you're holding this knuddled piece and pulling it backwards. As if you're pulling the chuck backwards. Mike Doyle joined us. Good afternoon, Mike. So Hello, if you were Mike. doing production, if you're doing a production run of these, you would just make them all up into your branch, put your uh, mortise on, and then you would do them one at a time and draw the whole lot all at once. But I'll just take that back out again. Twelve more to do then, Brian. Because I'm only turning them one. <laughs> Eleven. Right. Now, don't need the tailstock anymore. Put that out the way. Why be woodsheds in? Eh? What we've all done now is. Oh, yeah. So we've drilled that in. Let me just get that oh, why vacuumed out of there a second. Couldn't resist a yeah. tidy up just when I was there. <laughs> so let me get my little uh, measuring guide. So I made it. Uh, I've uh, had a little practice at this. Let's see. That's as far as that is going to go. So that's where we're, we're, we're hauled out to. So we're going to bring our, the base of our flower down to about here somewhere. So just with that knot is, that'll be perfect. Good turnings by Barry is in. So now I'm going Barry. to use my spindle roughing Barry. gauge just to rough this down a little bit uh, into, into a rough shape. So what I'm going to aim for is to have petals that come out the way. So we'll have a, a bulb, and then the petals will come out the way a little bit. All oh, right. Nice. <coughs> Turn the speed up again. And we'll just rough off this part first. And for the turner with less experience, there's no problem if you want to bring your tail stock up for a little bit of support. If you're not Absolutely. happy with no problem turning at all. there. Uh, and the reason I haven't got it up there is because it's wet wood and it, it's cutting nice and easy. And I've got good sharp tools. All my tools um, are sharpened. That's and part. you have experience, I'm just saying, for the... Yeah. The so turner with less experience. Less, less experience. Less experience. Yeah. Yeah. Or, yeah. or for the newer turner. Well, I don't know about them. It's just the ones with less experience. <laughs> <laughs> so that little cove there will, will allow me to make these... Um, make the petals come out of the way. So we were um, about Susie, there somewhere. The Swiss wood turner is asking who the earworms are today. So there's myself, oh, right. Joe, there's Terry, there's Pete, and the deep voiced gentleman is Mike. The deep voiced gentleman, oh. That's Michael. Michael. That's me. Mr. Mike Walton. That's me. <laughs> And Clive Rogerson said he missed. Uh, how did deep did you drill, Brian? I shall tell you exactly. Fifty mil. 
What he did is he drilled exactly one portion of bit shaft length because it doesn't really that's matter. Ex that's exactly right. Mm. Just it depends how deep and how wide your flower is. Mm. Obviously, if you want a big, tall, skinny flower, you can drill deeper, but I kind of want to try and make them sort of not wider than they are tall. So that's 50 mil, so. Two inches. Just about lost that knot. There's the little knot that I was aiming for. So I can part off anywhere after there now, so that'll be fine. So now I've got that bit done, we'll just tidy that up with the spindle roughing gauge. Or not a spindle roughing gauge, with a spindle gauge. Make a half decent cove there. Are you colouring this, Brian? I may well be. I'm just checking. We've got an international colourist here with us today. There may be colouring ahead. Scrutinising. Yes. If, if I'm pleased with colour <laughs> scrutinizer. <laughs> if type? I if I'm pleased with the result, I shall award you the approved colourist <laughs> badge. Oh, I know. <laughs> that's, that's one that Terry hasn't got yet. Yeah, not yet. So we'll just make a little. Just give myself an idea <laughs> where I want to part that off by kind of rounding that off a little bit somewhere about there. That's. I don't know if we I said the brow we're turning into. Now I need to hollow out the inside. Oh, well. oh, that would make a very Susie. nice. Oh, right. Can yeah. you colour wet wood? Won't that dilute it? It uh, kind of does a little bit, so, um, but it won't be that wet by the time I'm finished. So if I go to there. John would make a nice little That would make a nice little pot on his own, actually, without making a flower out of it. Nice shape for a simple pot. Don't stop him Good, there, yep. It's taken us a week to persuade him to do this. Yeah, don't tell no, him. Yeah. Don't tell him it could no. be a pot. Well, I could stop, make a lid, and put make a little pot. Yeah, that's a good <clears> idea. Yeah, I'd just concentrate just... not getting a catch if I were you. Forget about the lid. <laughs> I don't want to get a catch on the edge there. No. I'll just do a little black hole on there instead. Uh, Woodwork Learner has uh, just popped in to say hello. He can't stay. He's got some appointments uh, hello, to Andy. go to. So we'll have a look later. Hi, uh, Andy. Hope you have fun. Pop in then, Andy. Why bother? All right, Andy. <laughs> so that'll do. Terry. See pointless, like exos that. pointless exercise, isn't it, Terry? Really? It? Yeah, absolutely. Mike. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I like the natural. I like the natural bee eaten the natural edge. edge. Yeah, the, the, edge. the natural eaten edge. That won't yeah. be on the minute. The other caterpillar's been on it already. You know what they say about fools and birds? <laughs> yes. They yeah. They shouldn't, they shouldn't see things half done. Yeah. No, that's Steve true. Fleming just popped in there. Oh, Steve. Hi, Steve. Steve. Oh, Steve. Just a little hollowing inside, just to make it a little lighter. Michael Buckingham is in as well. Hello, Michael. Good afternoon, Michael. Hello, Michael. Good Hi, morning. Michael. Good afternoon. Good evening. Oh. Well, we've got off centre a bit there, Mr. Bryan. No, no. That was just me bringing all the rubbish out with me, look. I've only kidded, mate. I know. you setting it. Well, he got three other bits. He's only making one, so we got yeah. a few more tries. Well, by the time we get to the 12th one, he should be all right. Yeah. <laughs> Is that funny? Hmm. That's just a little shift got coming job, through, yeah? <clears throat> and for the Thank turner you. with less experience, the harmonics that you're hearing are basically nothing to do with the abysmal tool control and position of Brian's no. gouge. It's hanging over the hanging over the edge. I presume that's a 3.8 spindle gouge, it, Brian? Yes, indeed, mate. Yeah. Yes, indeed. It's perfect for the task. Yep, indeed. So that's that kind of that's that, that's the inside kind of done. We'll just have a quick look at it just to make sure. Yep, just a little bit of sanding now, and that'll be fine in there. So we'll just refine the outside shape a little bit. Not too worried about the raggedy edge on here. No, no. Because we're going to sand that in a minute, and that'll just. It's not. Bit. It's not going to have a wide lipped edge, is it? No. Arch Bodge has a question. He says, I think I heard you say this wasn't for Michelle. Who is the other mistress? <gasps> <laughs> Can't tell you. Secret. Rex B would like to know how thin you're going to make the walls, please. Um, Let me see how thin that wall is. Just I'll tell you in a second. 
make it translucent maybe uh, the so would you, be... you could if you wanted to make it translucent you could go all all out and see what you could do but i'm not gonna i'm even gonna leave that bit of bark on mm. that that's, that's, that's I'm just gonna give that a quick sand so we'll grab a piece of uh, 120 grit Red Arthur Wood Turner and Charlie Taylor have joined us. Good bring afternoon. this extractor on in. Cool. Just give us a quick sand. Susie Smith Turner's got a question. She says, for hollowing, does it make a difference if you use a bowl gouge or a spindle gouge? <coughs> um, it depends on the size of your piece, really. I'm only using a spindle gouge because this is only two inches wide. If it was wider, you could use a bowl gauge and just treat it like a, an end grain bowl. But that, that didn't really need it. Well, I think we've had this conversation before because Pete does a lot of hollowing as well. A uh, uh, three-inch yeah. spindle gauge is good to about two and a half, three-inch depth. That's it. Yeah. Um, to be honest with you, and for that one and a half or two inches, two and a half inch diameter, three-inch spindle gauge is more than adequate. And it's only so going in two inches, guys. Really you're mm. better off with spindle gauge because yes. you haven't got a lot of space. Exactly. With exactly. the pole gauge being that much thicker, it, uh, yeah. by the time you've got the angle of the bevel, it, it can be in the way. Yeah, and the wings are a lot higher up, so your wings in might catch the top wing as well. Exactly. <laughs> We've got Baz from Real Simple Things and Rob from Copile Wood turning in. Hey, Baz, Rob. Welcome along, boys. You've already said a little Appreciate you coming in. Minutes ago, but Joe was asleep. No, I just thought that um, he'd only just come in with him saying hello, everybody. So I'm just going with it. I'm going straight to 320 grit here. Can I'm you get your facts it. right then, Joe, please, before you make them public? Hey. Thank you. Shoot your face. Welcome, you. welcome to the <laughs> list, Mike. <laughs> you have started saying you're a politician, Mr. Walt. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yes, indeed. Yeah. <clears throat> I know what I'll do take the heat off the partying i'll just say we'll stop all the covid restrictions this month instead of next month yeah why not yeah <laughs> that's not so political at all question, then, so it's like a good wheeze to me how yeah thin do you reckon you're going to make the you're going to make them really thin the, the uh, no it's about uh, i don't know how thick that is guys let me just, millimeters or... let me just the, check the, with my uh, the edge is very thin rex as you can see <laughs> the edge is raggedy currently yeah really so we're about two True. mil there, guys. Ah, sure. About two mil. Maybe two and a half. You make sure you can get them to like half a oh, mil yeah. and then you can stand so, next, and the light and we want, shine through. Next mm. thing, uh, next thing is we want petals. Is it Nora? So, let's go to the overhead. Sorry. I'm ignoring Terry, yeah. Because he's... Mm. Yeah. So I've got a little cut-off disc on, on my uh, Dremel. It's not a Dremel, it's a Ryobi. Rotary tool. And I'm just going to cut four slots in this. And the depth of the slots is about two thirds all the way through the, the disc. And we're trying to get them kind of opposite each other. So you have kind of four equal, equally spaced um, pills. I'll tell you what would be good if we did three slots and got them opposite each other. That'd be clever. Yeah. Oh, that, that'd be easy. That's 120 degrees. Something. No, they're not opposite then, are they? <laughs> What timber was that again uh, for uh, Charlie Taylor's? So if you're using like one of these little oh, cut-off discs, it. guys, it's Magnolia. If Magnolia, you're using these little cut-off discs, make sure you wear eye protection. Hmm. Because if a lot of things will pop out of there. There'll be little bits flying off it. Rob from Copper Isle will turn and said, um, this way, it's bits to fly off to be smaller. Now, Doug Miller's asking, what happened to, I turned one and there won't be any more? He lied. Yeah, I lied. Yeah, he lied. He, you know he, he's, he's notorious for that. He's notorious for telling untruths. It's, it's called peer pressure, Doug. We've been on to him for a week, Doug. See, Pete and, uh, Pete and Mark and Joe, not so much. 
I'm Terry. Have a beautiful so all week. <clears throat> he left me out because I didn't. I, I didn't say anything about flowers at all. That no, Mike done. Included you. You'd be making three dozen now. <laughs> Fred Gilbert and Woodworm Paul are in. Good afternoon. Oh, so we're just making kind of rough leaf ships. Yeah. What's Podgy saying? Is that disc usually intended for cutting metal? It is, yep. But it works fine on this kind of thin dry wood, or well, thin wet wood, you know say. It's not wet, it's not dry at all. Very inspirational, guys. Yeah. You could, of course, if you, if, I presume, if you didn't have a um, a rotary tool, you could use a coping saw or something similar. You could, yeah, Just, you could use yeah. a coping saw or um, a little Japanese pool saw or something. Yeah. Because most people have a little cut off saw, you could use that just the same. Or you could do a fresh unopened tulip and just keep it closed. You could yeah. you could roll yeah. it over the way. Yeah. Oh, bye. bye bye, Susie. Susie's got to go back to work now. She's, she's See you, Susie. Oh, Susie. 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 Thanks well, for no, coming. I'm just going to rub just going to rub a bit of sandpaper on these. A little bit of hand sanding, and just make them into sort of petal shapes. The thinner it is, the obviously the less sanding you'll have to do. Harry Barton is saying, "Why, gee, why, gee, why, gee, we need." But you don't want to, don't want it to be too thin because it'll just break off. <laughs> and this is magnolia, uh, so I'm not sure how magnolia stands up, to be honest. No. I've never I actually don't think I've turned. Is it uh, close grain or wide grain wood? It's it's. Uh, <coughs> Or is it, is it fast growing? It's not that fast growing, is it, my sound? It's quite like um, <coughs> poplar, really. All I right. What, Pete? Okay. Quite like poplar, poplar to turn, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's nice to turn. It turns really well, particularly when it's wet. It's just like it's like cotton butter. Might be a good carving wood. Yes, I should think it would. It might be, yeah. I do like you that picture back on it. This bit here, yes. yeah, it just adds yeah. a little something. Yeah. Yep. It always nice to keep the bark in if you can. Try and keep it as natural as possible. So it shouldn't split either, because you already added four splits and you've taken the pith out. Of yeah, it. so the stress yep. has come out of it. So it? I've released the stress at this end, yes. but not at this end. But we'll see what happens. Charlie Toad says, "Are you going to paint it?" We shall see in the fullness of time. That's a yes, by the way. <laughs> that's, that's that'll be a yes then. Save money. That's it, Robert. You see, I think Brian's painting it so I don't sing. I think that'd be a good, wise idea. <sighs> I'll tell you what, that's, uh, that. that's the way so, forward. <laughs> I'm not I'm not commenting on that in case I get in trouble again. You can't get on the list again. You're going to get on once. It's just the. I'm not on the list, you. Mike. I'm not on the list. He's I wasn't until list. I wasn't until earlier on. <laughs> Mike yeah, you're on it. I tell you what, this piece of paper's gonna have to get be two pieces of paper. Yeah, yeah. Might Mike, have to go to Mike, A three now. Mike Doyle was asking a question. He said, "Will you be boiling it so you can flex the petals open further?" No, I could. Uh, that, that might be an idea. Good but I'm, I'm not gonna. Todd, we'll see what, I'm just going to see what nature does to it. See, the trouble with opening the petals too wide is that's when the flower is dying, isn't it? Mm. Well, no, well kind of. Mm. I do know that if I give my wife dead flowers, she's less appreciative of it. She, 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 she doesn't like it very much, yeah. I can't even believe that you've given your wife dead flowers. I, I tend not the to give my wife I actually gave my wife a bunch of stems out. once. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just kind of standing as with the green now, just to. You get the head sure of the bike. Oh, I'll buy my wife some flowers and I chuck the flowers in my backpack on the back of the bike. Rode on home. Stem. By the time I got home, there wasn't a single petal on them. Stem. No. <laughs> Oops. Bunch of stems. I don't know if anybody helped me there or not. <laughs> Good afternoon, Maker. Good afternoon. Oh, so, what you could name. do now, Pete, really, Pete, you could now turn. 
12 dowels, thin ones, spray them green or whatever. And say, there's the so steps. Pete or Brian? Brian or both. You, know. you could get, you could buy dowels, but I have a, a, a cunning solution for that. Don't have any. You could actually but, turn, I mean, you could actually turn a, a, a sharp yeah. ear. Stems, my wife is used, used to stems now, so <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you'd get away but with I'm, it. But I'm not going to make stems. So, next thing, get this ready. Roger to Mills off. is in. Good afternoon, Roger. Hey, Rog. Roger's been in for hours. Do you know, I can't remember. It's one of the first. No. We just said, I oh, I see Brian is not turning a flower after all. <laughs> Who said that? That's nasty. Roger Mills. Roger Mills. <laughs> oh, Daddy, no. It's not Clive Rogerson, were you thinking? Um... I might have been. Sorry. Just, I'm, I'm sitting here fretting because I thought you were going to sing at some point. I can't concentrate. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're on the list as well. Yeah. I'm just using my skew to pop this off with. A little V cut in the back. Oh, V cut there. A little bit more room at the back so the chisel can get in there. There we go. Oh. Now turn the stamens. Right. That was easy. I have a cunning plan for that too. Right, let's just take this off of here. Because we're done with it for now. And I'll remove that chop. I don't need it again. Ben Jammin's in to be so Ben. Hi, right, Ben. Put the chuck up on its chuck, buddy. My good friend Steve sent me. Give that a clean up. Stick this board up. No. <coughs> Next thing we need to do is just kind of sort out this little knob on the bottom, so we'll just sand that off. We'll just Brent, use was a bit of... Brent was wondering would it be easy to colour before you parted it off? Well, we don't know if he's you, colouring. You could, you could. But you'll see in a second. Brian's been very... Elusive. Yeah, he's... I know what, perhaps he's going to dip them. Robert said, if you turn it upside down and put some googly eyes on it, you've got a ghost. Hey, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so he's not turning flowers, he's turning ghosts. No, he's definitely turning flowers. So that's just a little bit of 120 grit there, just to try and take away the marks. It doesn't really matter. As you'll see in a moment. Another about a 320 grit. And the next thing we need is a hole through the middle. So you can see where the path is there, I hope. Yep. Well, if you can, can you see that? See the path right in the middle? Yep. Yeah. I'm just going to drill a hole through there. That's right. I can just push it through. All we can see is the trail, not where you're going. Oh, sorry, guys. Go back to go back to the overhead. There you go. So I've just drilled a hole all the way through the bottom. It's a three mil drill bit. I'm just three mil hole in the bottom now. I'll just clean off that little black mark. So if you got good at this, Brian, you know, as in speed wise, like. <clears throat> and had all the things ready. You could turn a dozen in an hour. Oh, you could easily. So, be supplies. to make stems, I'm using a piece of bamboo. Just a small piece of bamboo. Now, this is this is that's not the main stem. That's one of the side shoots of my bamboo that grows in the garden. So it fits through there, and it makes a stem. So it's quite successful as making a stem. So the next thing I want to do then is glue that into place. So I'm Brian going to use some thick CA. 
I can change that camera to there and then bring that down a bit. That's better. It's not better. Yep, lovely. A little bit of thick CA, so Perfect. just get this to drip. So with thick CA, it takes a while to get it out. <sighs> the end's gummed up again, so we'll have to get a pin. I'm just trying no, to get it out. and just dip my stem in it. Is there a reason why you don't use medium, Brian? Um, no, I've just got some no. thick. Okay. It's, not in, it's not going to work. No, if you Let me just screw the lid, dip the stem in the, in the tub. That yeah. doesn't come out, Daddy. Oh. It's okay, I'll get it now. <laughs> I just need a sharp point, you think? I just read Fred Gulliver has just, Gulliver, Gulliver has just said, everyone has a singing voice inside them somewhere. I think Joe is about halfway there. Keep it up, Joe. The voice will get better the more you use it. <laughs> oh, the more I use it. Oh, aren't you in for a treat? <laughs> See, I've got the uh -huh. go-ahead now. So we've got some Whoa. CA coming out now, so we'll just... Oh, too much. Got to go now, guys. <laughs> a little drip yes. of CA. <laughs> just in the hole, just enough to get that in there. And then I'm going to spray some of the activator on the end of the bamboo. And just push it in through there. Give that a second. Or three. For those of you that don't grow bamboo, Brian will be packaging up ten pieces at a time. And putting them on. I can, easily. If you, I'll, I'll do a dozen if you want to make a dozen flowers. Cody sheds in. Good afternoon, Cody. Good afternoon, Katie. Good afternoon, Katie. How are you doing? So let's be finished with the glue. Just give that a second or two just to set. Should be okay, actually. I nearly sprayed it with acrylic sand and sealer there. <laughs> that would have been that would have worked, wouldn't it? A uh, little bit of 320 sandpaper again, because we've got a little bit of glue around the bottom of that that we don't really want. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use some of this What's that? Sp spirit stains. You see that? Down, Down there. Yeah. Yeah. Chestnut yeah. yeah. spirit stain. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to brush that on. So I'm purposely brushing it from the, the bottom up towards the, the top. The reason for that is? And you'll see there's a bit of, uh, there's a bit of green in there. Can you see that, the bit of green that's in that? <coughs> it's yeah. actually blue. Uh, because <laughs> I, put, I was using blue earlier and I purposely left some on the brush. So as that green comes up and streaks, yeah, it's coming up in there. Right. Just to add a little bit of interest rather than it being plain and boring so if anybody wanted to copy that then they they've got to use some blue on a brush on a, on a scrap piece of something but that, leave that's the correct. blue in the brush yep and then start from the bottom and dip it in the yellow or whatever and wipe it upwards and it streaks the blue good idea it certainly works with these stains anyway just a big range of those stains yeah there's a, there, there's a good range of colours. I go through the colours in a second. I have them all here. So you could so spray not, those as well, can you? you uh, yeah, you can spray them, yeah. You know, through your air gun or your airbrush. Yeah, air brush. Brush, yes. I don't think mine have worked because they must be eight years old. Mine uh, you're, you're, <laughs> you're, sure there's any, you're sure there's anything left in the bottles, mate? They haven't gone hard. Oh, yeah, no. <clears throat> They're full fine. Full of Yeah. Paint. So you'll notice that I haven't gone right down the bottom there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you'll see why in a minute. Just leave that dry for a second or two. And the next thing I'm going to use is some of uh, some of this. Intrinsic yeah, Colors Ruby. So the but brush going to use it. would have to be cleaned out with... with um... So it doesn't go hard to clean it out with uh, thinners. White spirit for that one. White, white spirits. 
Yep. Okay. White spirits is the ideal thing for it, Terry. Okay, I'm just checking. But I'm just going to keep it moist in a, in a tub of water for now. Mm -hmm. uh, just set it over there, and I will clean it with uh, white spirits. Meth white spirits does it as well. It gets rid of it. Mm -hmm. But if you've got uh, cellular stars or something, that would be even better. Mm -hmm. So now, I want a different piece of wood on here. Just for a second. And we're going to spray this with some red. So we're going to make it red at the bottom. William Kenny is so quite, the chat. Quite, so quite thick you. at the bottom if you like. Hi William. And then we're just going to spread, let that come up in little streaks as well. And the thing to be careful of is that you don't get too much up here on the, on the petals that stick out because it catches on them. Yeah. So we're just going to try and make that a bit streaky. And then inside, we're just going to put the, the, the gun in and fill that okay. and then just bring it out and leave it. So it's kind of deep red in the inside. Oh, can't really see that. And it just kind of fades out to yellow at the edges. Now we have to leave that for a minute or two, guys. This is all making sense so far, yeah? That would be it a is. good project to uh, make a dozen of those. No, no, mm. Seriously. Yep. And stick yeah, on no, it, brilliant, it, isn't it? it would look really good. <clears throat> so that's how it turns out. So the next thing we need to do with that then is give it a coat of sanding sealer, which I will do in a moment. Just having a... Talk amongst yourselves there while I let that dry for a second. Not hard that is for really effective, that is fine. Really effective. Mm. Right, so we'll get some acrylic sanding sealer and give it a little shake. This is going to be a short life today. Richard Feelings in. Hello, Richard. Hi, Richard. <coughs> Hi, Richard. So just give this a coat of sanding Hello, sealer. <coughs> Because this timber is renowned for soaking the stuff in, you see, you just kind of soaking in there. And you're using the spray instead of wipe on because obviously then it I won't. I don't want to transfer the colours. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Just That's for the exactly turner right. with less experience. Yeah. <laughs> I love that expression. Now. There we go. So we'll just let that dry now. Seems to be a whole lot of time spent letting things dry. But sure, that's what it is. If you were doing several, though, it, it, it would be all right. You just keep going yeah, along. You would just, yeah, we just do a production line. You would do one thing at a time, one stage at a time. Here. So there you go. There's the uh, the chestnut colours. And there's a huge there's a huge amount of them. That's, uh, there's white. I don't know how that works. There's white. And there's a black. There's a nice green, which is actually quite vivid. Royal blue. I think they call this, this is just blue, uh, red, orange, yellow, and purple. Mm. So you get flowers of uh, any colour you want, basically. <coughs> Paul's asking oh. the wood, it's magnolia. Yep, the wood is magnolia. More importantly, it's a, a bit of two-inch branch. Correct. So you can use all your, all your bits of branch about the right size for this job. It's just, it saves wasting timber, guys, see, because, I mean, when I first started, I, I was looking for big bits. Oh, I want a big bit to turn. But then you, you end up with all these little bits, you just either throw in the fire or leave to one side to rot. So, instead of that, why not have something like this? I need that to dry a bit more. Very nice. Very nice indeed. I might, I might have been a bit Gun. overzealous with the, uh, with the sanding seal of that. So just give it a quick blast with the hairdryer, I think, just to try and... Yeah. The thing as well is if you, if you haven't got bamboo for the stem, as Brian said earlier on, you can just turn a, a, a thin dough, you know. You could. Or you could or, use florist wire, couldn't you? Yep. Yeah. 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 And that's all, yeah. Anything at all. Let's so the trick with your hairdryer, remember, guys, <laughs> is to point it away from the piece to switch it on and then bring it into it. It's particularly useful if you're using uh, lacquer. That way any dust that's settled on the hair dryer doesn't go through it and into the piece. <coughs> but 
that is really effective. I hate to say it. I've said this every damn live, and it's annoying me. I know, eh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Makes you sick, doesn't it? It certainly does. So we've got a little bit too much on here. Look, just a little bit of a line there. So I'm just going to rub that with my finger and just spread it out a little bit. It'll make no difference to that at all. It just looks like there's a, a wrinkle in the petal. In the petal, if you like. Brent Beecroft wants to know question is any other species suggestions? Why is it what flower type or what would? Well, uh, different types of flower. Ah, oh, you're limited by your own imagination there. Yeah. I think so, I think he means other woods that you could do the same oh, with. Oh, yeah. Any, any branch wood. Anything, any, anything at all. You any light anything. branch wood. Light but, coloured branch wood. Yeah, if you're going light colours would be better. But you could actually do it with anything. I mean, if you wanted to make them out of oak, you could make it out of oak. But yeah. Kind of waste of oak, I would think. But If you've got some little branches of oak, why not use them? Anything, anything will do because you're colouring it anyway. So let me just uh, the yeah, last thing I would do to that now would well. be to would be to uh, lacquer it if you wanted to, or do you want to leave it matte? You could put a coat of wax over it or whatever. Um, but I lacquer them. So if you just give me a second, I'm going to stick that up there. Do you, do you use a satin lacquer as opposed to a gloss, uh, Brian? Uh, no <laughs> gloss. Uh, well, you could use satin. Depends on, on kind of what mood you're in. Oh. I'm, I, I'm using, I use <laughs> gloss. I'm going to show Mike's you in a second. in a bad mood. That's a trouble. No, yeah. That's uh, it's got to be satin for me. Thanks for that, he's, Barry. He's always, in, he's always in a bit of a mood anyway. <laughs> it really annoys me when somebody says something like that. You, you, all you can hear is Pete chuckling in the background. <laughs> yeah, no he's desperate. You wait till September. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait, I'm sorry, September, yeah. 2026. What? Mind you, when the DVLA is gone, I could still be off in September, Pete. So uh, should be it's able to do for you. <laughs> Richard so Phelan just, asks, "Was the word green?" Yes, it was. It was. Yes, yes. yes. It's green it's word. Easier to do when it's green, guys. It's now yellow. Yeah, easy to do when it's green. Cedar would work, mm. but it is wide grained. It's uh, green wood. It would work. But... To be honest, this is a sort of project. It doesn't take long to do, mm. and you can. Try all sorts of different timbers and see what the effect is. Yeah. Yep. Could a nice mix of timbers is going to be more effective than a so bunch of the same. Yeah. The other thing this is. This, oh, look at oh, that. Oh, yeah. See, he did oh, make more and more. Yeah. yeah. Nice lovely. Yeah, really here's, the one I've just, here's the one I've just made, guys. We'll just pop that in there. There we go. That's brilliant. Flower arranging is rubbish, but you know. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. <laughs> so with the bamboo, if you use the bamboo, it's kind of flexible. So. Yeah, I like that bamboo idea. Yeah, it's good. I go around the garden. You can always go around the garden centre, mind you, and take a few clippings. He take notice. He took notice. So, mate. We've been ragging him all week. He's been doing it secretly all night from yeah. nine oh, until six. <laughs> so uh, normally you would have a bit of that green oasis stuff you put in it. Then you yeah. can just stick your flowers in and yeah. stay in the yeah. right place. But I haven't got any, so. And you could get some bamboo leaves and dry them out, then paint them up, can you? Mm. You them, could, yeah. Like ah, you stuff. could easily uh, the just leave. Got, you could leave those sort of leaves. You could Life leave the bamboo. Well. Uh, you could leave the leaves on the bamboo and just dry them <coughs> and spray them. Yeah. Did you get the vase from IKEA, Brian? I turned that vase, Mister Walt. Did you really? It's an excellent. <laughs> it, it, it is too Cheeky perfect. Fecker, you. It's too Cheeky perfect. Fecker, you. It's Mike, you keep saying how good things are. I, mean, I know. I tell you something, you Terry. It's got to stop. Turner of less experience. Than <clears> can't, can't <clears> yeah. that anymore. No. You can't call him that now. Let's, uh, no, let's Brian. Try. Brian, give up, mate. So this, you, this one's you, got a big floral. long. This one's got a big yeah. long stem. You see, so it can be quite floppy. Hmm. If you were to throw a long stem, they flop. I'm going to cut a bit off that stem, actually. So it's, it's nice and easy because there's, there's always little marks on it where you can cut it. Look, you know, just like that. David says, like brilliant. It. We said, hello, David. Hello, David. There we go. That's a bit better. Lots of good comments coming in, Brian. I just can't yeah. believe that you've actually done it. There you go. Mm -hmm. And never. 
Maybe the there's, my, there's my little friend there, just a, <laughs> a little <laughs> blue mouse. It's cool. There you go, guys. That's the project for today. And it's only Excellent. 10 to 2. Excellent, mate. Yeah, you I'm happy rest with that. Another half hour. Yeah, I'm still not doing another half hour. I'm finished now. That's it. I'm only doing another one. Yeah, I could have spoken. <laughs> I suppose you're so tired. I've been up all night turning those. Yeah. Up all night turning these bloody things. Yeah. Give me a break now, will you? And, and he was queuing outside <laughs> IKEA because the vases were on sale. <laughs> oh, you cheeky maker! I did open till nine. Let me just check that. Has it got my maker? No, it hasn't got the maker's mark on the box yet. Mm. <laughs> Can't prove it then. Oh, okay. Can't prove it, mate. Hey. It's got a no, foot on it, so it is Brian's. Yes, yeah, you'll remember that it was done in the life, and I got I some do. abuse for it. This is gold, gold leaf in the top. And you're still getting abuse. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. I can't win. You can even see the little mouse in it. Look at that. It's great. Yeah, it's sweet. <laughs> That's excellent. Really good. Really, really good. These mice are on my web shop, by the way, if anybody wants a mouse. It's my signature mouse. Nice from heart returning. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to sign each one individually and they'll be numbered if you want one. <laughs> Limited edition mice. Don't, don't put them yeah. together. You might have 60 million of them. Yeah. I was, I was going to say two years' time is 948,624 being produced. <laughs> so, number Steve one, I just told you, so if you want number one, you better get in quick. Steve, you can now make some small mice to peek out the flowers. It's I could do that. Steve. Oh, that's a great idea. Brian, if you buy, if you buy, that's excited work, Brian. But don't <laughs> take up flower arranging. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's enough yeah. of the flowers. Okay, that's enough then. <laughs> I'm just going to say, Brian. Actually, if, you know, the first, the first fifty mice that are purchased, does, does that allow you to become one of the founder members of the Mouse Club? Mm. <laughs> no, and you get spe special dispensation. <laughs> I don't do founder members. I oh, don't believe in founder members. No, oh, I just, you, I members are members, are members. There should be no distinction between founder members and members. Well, I you members really. are members. If you're a member of a club, really? you're a member of a club. If you're not a member of the club, you're not a member of the club. Simple as that. Okay. There oh, should be no yes. distinction. Roy it's a crazy Ryan. thing. It's a real American Holy thing, that. Uh, Brian forced could, me to make a mouse, so I burnt it just to stop it from yeah. breeding. Yeah. You yeah. could Nicking your cheese. In America, they have this thing: you can be a member of a club, but you can, if you only pay so much, you can you can only be this level of membership. If you pay so much more, you can quite be a right. better membership. Quite right, as well. Yeah, it's quite agree. Yeah. Yeah. I quite agree with that. I think it's an excellent ethos, personally. Oh, that's not 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 Bullshit. Sarah Graves and Brian. No, no not about Sarah Graves. Man. No. What? Just that I'm a founder member and Brian didn't. That's and he's paid you the can, same you can, same you, as me. That's fine. I what paid, I what it shows: a founder member shows faith. In the initial stages, Ooh. and not people like you that wait to see if it's going to work before you. Oh join. shit! Wait, yeah? I didn't hear about it until the first day it was announced. And then I joined that very first day, so. Oh ah, well, you just weren't what you want. quick enough. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> that's a non-founder member, correct, Terry? Exactly. Are you a founder member, Terry? No, I'm not. No, but you don't care, do you? Not, a, not no. like Brian, anyway. Yeah. Yeah. I just think it's a, Brian... it's a terrible thing to do. Oh, it's, it's terrible. terrible. Yeah. My you own want to run us opinion, and I'm allowed to, to have an opinion. Run us through, you know, Brian, it, through Brian, it again. Serious question. Brian. Serious question. This is your next task. Yes, Robert sir. Hodgepodge says, now you need to turn the bumblebee to a task. What? <gasps> yeah. what? Oh, oh, yeah, bumblebee. Go yeah, straight that. bumblebee. Right, Gossamer right. wings. Try to get that on that camera for you. Gossamer wings. There you go. Nice That's really good. So, really nice. Let, let me just bring that one over there and see. We'll give you 9 out of 10 for that. I can't flow a range worth it now. A bit better. Oh, see, whoa, whoa, whoa. Go, 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 go back a bit, back, 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 round, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep okay. going. That's it. That's the best it's got to look. We are arranging. Yeah, stop there. Yeah. Yeah, stop there. <laughs> Thanks, mate. That's all right, mate. Don't forget the mouse speaking around the car. Yeah, it must be cool in your <laughs> workshop, as says uh, Ben, I think it was, uh, or Roy said it, because it's, the mouse is blue. Yeah. Is, is it for sale, oh, that really mouse? Not. Yes. <laughs> We have multicolored mice. You can have a Where? you can have the mouse basically any color you want. You can have a gold leaf mouse if you want. And it's also, Ro expensive. Robert Robert says mouse ears work as bees' wings. So there you go. Did you? Yeah. yeah. Just turn mm -hmm. the, turn the bodies, paint it black and yellow. There you go. <clears throat> Couple of bees. We're okay. going to turn a, a bumblebee to go in these flowers. 
It's going to have to be pretty spot. It's going to have to wait till we go back up to Glens again because we need a VB for that. Yeah, we do. Oh, Absolutely. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, oh Pete. Three, three quarter inch Pete. chisels. Three quarter inch chisels. <laughs> three quarter inch chisel, yeah. That's a Terry comment. You're really, got, you're really scraping a barrel now, aren't you? Need a VB. <laughs> oh, dear. So there you are. It's just a short you've one today, excelled. guys. you excelled, Brian. So. Yeah, excellent. Really you, good. You've you, you managed to last an hour nearly. I've been, I've been, I've been, I've been beating this, this flowers thing back with a straight butt all week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were checking but, from the other direction, so we caught you anyway. Yeah, no, he we caught did, me in yeah. the yeah. I caught him in the slips. Yeah, I basically got caught in the slips. So there you go. Right, guys, that's enough. We'll go. We shall uh, see you all again. Who's on next? What day is this? This is Thursday. We've got. Uh, who's on tonight? He's on tonight. I don't know. Keith might Scott be on tonight. From Scott the Blue Lake Turner is on tonight. And then we've got uh, Wayne tomorrow again. Lunchtime, I think, isn't it? Wayne tomorrow. And then yep. Steve in the evening. Yep. Uh, we've Saturday, got a bunch we've got. Work on the screen, Wayne. is that right? Oh, how did I manage that? Wayne in the evening. Oh, well, let's hide that. <laughs> there you go. We got Wayne again in the evening, yep. And you on the Jamie, 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 Jamie and, and uh, Jake at lunchtime. Sunday, we've got nobody. No, Mike, we on this week. Oh, Steve. Steve's on Oh, Sunday Steve. Lunch. Yeah, sorry. Sunday lunch with Steve and Nicky. Well, it just won't be nobody. Uh, nobody, I was thinking about Sunday night there. Sorry, Steve. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Steve is on, yeah. Uh, and then uh, we're back to Monday, and that's me. That's good. So there's a slot All there right, guys. for you, if you want to jump in, do a live. There you go. Yeah, Who's I've that? got one planned for September. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pete, Pete, oh, oh, just just before you go, guys, Pete has uh, managed to make his 500 uh, subs. Oh, well, so he, has to, he has to do a live giveaway. So I need, we need some that's pressure on him to get this live giveaway organised, because he's Try to put it off to September. Well, he is, <laughs> he's, he's a slow turner, so the giveaway is going to take until <laughs> September to turn. Yeah, it'll take that long. He's not getting away with that. So, mm. and before you go, Brian, before you do switch off, can we get yes, Joe to just sing once? Because there's a lot of people in the chat are crying their eyes out here. Oh, yeah. then <clears throat> Joe didn't yeah. get to sing. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Hold that's, on. Hold on. Hold on. That's tears just, of joy, just, actually. Just Terry. so as I, just so as I don't get sacked. <laughs> just so as I don't get sacked. You don't have to put her on screen, man. You can put her on screen. Okay. okay. Things, One, two, three. Ready to go? Ready to go? Off you go. Hands that feel pity can be soft as your face. With light brown, your chair gritty. Well, well done. Overhead. There, there you go. There. Hooray. Ooh. All the people now are actually oh, going nice away and getting delighted. Made their t- afternoon. All right, guys. That's oh. it. We're done now. I'll Bye, have Michael. to go because my ears Michael. are bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> And that is why you're on the list. <laughs> Bye for now, guys. Excrement. Bye, Cheers, everybody. all. Cheers, Bye. everyone. Bye. Bye.